everyone. It's so nice to see you today. We're going to learn about Job and all the troubles that he had. Job was a very rich man, and he was also very happy. He had a wife, he had ten children, and he had lots and lots of animals. But despite being so rich, Job never bragged or boasted. He was a good, kind man. He loved God with all his heart. God was very pleased with Job. There is no one who loves me more than Job does, he said. Of course Job loves you, replied the devil, who was jealous. Look how much you have given him. If you took it all away, Job would curse you. But God believed in Job. Very well, he told the devil. You can test him. Then you will see just how much Job trusts me. From that moment on, terrible things started to happen to Job. Robbers came and stole all his cattle and all his donkeys. Lightning came and killed all his sheep and shepherds. Then thieves came and stole his camels. And worst of all, a tornado flattened his home and killed all his ten children. But Job did not blame God. Lord, you gave me everything I had, he prayed, and now you have seen fit to take it away. This made the devil so angry. Job would soon change his mind if he was hurt, he cried. So he gave Job a terrible illness, and the illness was so painful. But Job still trusted God. Finally, three friends came to visit Job. They told Job that God doesn't punish people for no reason, that he must have done something really bad, and that he should ask God to forgive him. This made Job very angry. He knew he had done nothing wrong, but he started to feel confused. I'm suffering too much, he said. Why doesn't God take pity on me? Then God spoke to Job. Where were you when I created the earth? God asked. Do you understand the wonders of creation? Do you have an arm like God? And can you thunder with a voice like mine? Will you find fault with the Almighty God? Je Job was ashamed. I am nothing, Lord, he said. I have spoken about things I do not understand. I am so sorry. I should accept that you know best. I told Job to forgive his friends for the way they had spoken, because they didn't understand. Then he gave Job twice the wealth he had before, so he was even richer, and he gave him more children. Job felt humbled. At last, he understood God's greatness. What a wonderful story about how Satan tried to break Job's love for God, but Satan did not succeed. And God blessed Job with even more riches and more children. What a wonderful lesson for us to trust God in everything, even when we don't understand. Now let's read another story. This story is about the Tower of Babel.
As time went by, Noah's family grew bigger and bigger. There were grandchildren, and then great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. Noah's family began to fill the world, just as God had wanted them to do. They all spoke the same language, so they were able to talk to one another. Some of Noah's family traveled to Babylonia, where they made their home. They learned new skills there, like how to make bricks from mud. They would stick these bricks together with tar and build homes for themselves. They thought they were smart. One day, someone suggested that the Babylonians should build a tall tower, the Tower of Babel should be the tallest in the whole world. Then everyone would know how smart they were, and they would be famous all over. This made the people excited, and they quickly set to work building the tower. But God was watching as the people built the tower. He watched the walls grow higher and higher. It made God very sad. He knew that people were not thinking about him at all. They were only thinking about themselves and how important they were. Soon, the people of Babylonia would think they were just as great as God. They would get bigger and bigger ideas and become as wicked as people were before the flood. God knew that people had to be able to talk to each other in order to finish this tower. If they spoke in different language and couldn't tell each other what they were doing, the building would have to come to a stop. So God scattered the people in all directions. He made them speak in different languages so they could not understand one another. And the Tower of Babel, it remained unfinished forever. I hope that you um, you guys enjoyed this story. Um, we had two stories today. One about Job and how God blessed him for his faithfulness. And one about the Tower of Babel and how God confused their languages and why today we don't all speak one language but speak many. Thanks for coming to Sunday School Today, kids. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. We're going to be here for sure next week. Yeah, we love listening to the stories. I'm going to be faithful to God just like Job. I am so glad to hear that, everyone. We'll see you next week, okay? Okay, Miss Sabrina. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Bible story. I hope that you learned something new from it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week for another wonderful Bible story. Thank you for coming to Sunday School. See you next week.